all lies. Nothing could be further from the truth. He is kind, good, and a freedom fighter for free speech. If Julian goes down, he will be the last freedom fighter. The point is, if people ask me this, I would say, no, but we have methods of controlling people so that people aren't thinking and they're just consuming and um, accepting everything they're told. Mm. And, and, and um, the, the, way to say, the way to say this is the way that Noam Chomsky explained it. He said, at one time, people used to be terrified of the mob and they called them the wild beast. But since they um, developed the art of propaganda through newsprint and through technology, they now call us, call us the herd because they feel perfectly comfortable about managing us. And the point is that no rebellion has su succeeded until now. It's never ever happened. But this rebellion has got to happen because we face mass extinction and people have really got this trigger now that this is going to happen and so I think it will be sustained. <laughs> so is this the home office? So that's going to be it here. Is this yes, the, home? the home office? Yeah, yeah. We just need to take witness actually, not just oh. thinking it Sorry, I want to look if this head looks any good. Yeah, try to try to fix it so it doesn't swivel. Yeah, I was so shocked what happened at that hearing of Julian that I've been saying to everybody, we live in a totalitarian state, and they say, oh yes, we do. You know, everybody seems to know this. So I don't know whether they believe the government or not, but I'm a punk, and there's one thing that I left from the punk era and that is young people do not believe a word the government ever says. Julian has had his reputation completely destroyed and sabotaged by the media for nine years with a whole series of lies. Half the people in this country don't like Julian but they've got, they know nothing about him except what the press told them. So it's government and press together that have caused all this. And the arms trade, I mean, the main wealth of the world at the moment is, is through selling arms. And so, of course, um, all the people who've got government roles are against the person who's exposing the corruption of the whole system. So, uh, from uh, Belmarsh this afternoon, Julian sends his greetings and appreciation for your strength and determination to free him from Belmarsh and allow him to return to the bosom of his family. Now, all of his family are gathered together here in London uh, to uh, carry the fight forward. Now, we are faced here with a a great task, all of us together, to ensure that Julian is freed from the persecution that's gone on now for nine years. Now, we can, not only can we win, but let me tell you, we are winning. and I want to gate crash this interview. Nice I know this man. Cook and, and I'm Viv oh you do remind me of Julian. Um, um, I'm Vivian Westwood and I'm oh, a big, evening. big supporter of him. And I would like to ask you, yes. how is it going in Australia? Very strong. So yeah, we, really. Uh, yes, we now have a, uh, a committee of 11 parliamentarians with, uh, who are advancing Julian's cause and putting before the government a number of solutions, diplomatic solutions to the, to the uh, impasse that Julian is suffering now. Yes, because this whole co 
this whole kabang is being conducted like a show trial. It's like a totalitarian regime in this country. This is how it's being done here. So the politicians need attacking and they need to listen to these old Australian politicians, obviously. And I want to say that Craig Murray, the supporter of Julian for all the time, who himself suffered problems from the British government ill treatment, that this report that he wrote, it's the best thing ever. It's the most important document in, for England and for Julian in the last 10 years. And we have to tell everybody who's listening to this, you must read this document, this report by Craig Murray about Julian. Because if you do, you will be wanting to attack the government. You will be wanting this man to be free because he is, an, well, he's our hope. Yeah, okay, thank you. I wanted to say all that. I want yeah, to welcome thank you. our next speaker. She's been a, a long time friend, ally, and campaigner for Julian Assange. She's a fantastically well known designer. It's the real Westwood. Yeah. 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 Hi, name. I am a freedom fighter. This is the home office of the British government. I am here to protest government corruption and the death of justice. Julian Assange will die unless we set him free. The first step, everyone in England and the British Isles read the document, the most important report of the last 10 years is now on the internet. So it is Climate Revolution, Craig Murray. And this is the report. At Westminster Magist Magistrate Court on October the 21st, a hearing for Julian took place. It was a show trial. A show trial is one where the guilty verdict is already decided. The process is a sham. Everyone pretends. This is what happens in the communist revolutions of Russia and China and at the tribunal of the French Revolution. This is why we wear this mask. In the name of justice, we demand dismissal of the corrupt judge, Vanessa Barretza. <laughs> And we demand that Julian is now taken out of solitary confinement. Yes. Yes. Prior to his release, the official media did not report these details of this event. However, the BBC did talk about Julian and he talked about his frail condition, but they failed to mention he is being kept illegally in solitary confinement. The best way to convince people we have a free society is to limit information and then to encourage 
free and fair discussion within those limits. Yeah. That's why people think we live in a free society. Half the people in this country don't like Julian Assange. They know nothing about him except what the official news tells them. All lies. Nothing could be further from the truth. He is a kind, good, freedom fighter. For free speech, if Julian goes down, he will be the last. Julian is a political prisoner. Yep. And extradition of a political prisoner is illegal. <laughs> According to international law, the UN has charged the UK government with torture. They say it is torture to take away someone's identity to take away someone's reputation. This has been going on for the last nine years. The UN demands that Julian should be freed with compensation. <laughs> for the last nine years, America has been preparing its secret court with a staff of 800 people. Julian has known about this all along. Julian is charged. This is the charge. It is a crime to expose American war crimes. <coughs> if he goes to the secret court, it is again another show trial. You are guilty of exposing American war crimes. Therefore, you have been telling the truth, and therefore, we sentence you to 170 four years in concrete. For me, if we say Julian, I am a freedom fighter against mass extinction and the death of the planet. And if we say Julian, we will save the world from mass extinction and the death of our planet. They are connected they are both the result of government corruption global. Yeah. Free Julian, save the world, rock and roll. Yeah.